Skyscrapers are getting higher and higher. And soon, a day will come when our neck won't tilt enough to view the whole building. Another tower that will be breaking many records is also ready to be revealed. It might be the tallest building under construction in Asian countries. Southeast Asia, to be precise. Hello everyone, Mega Projects and Skyscrapers welcome you back to another fun and exciting video. Today, in this video, we will be telling you about the new skyscraper in Malaysia that might be the tallest building in Southeast Asia. Before we begin, subscribe to our channel, Mega Projects and Skyscrapers, and watch our exciting and incredible videos, and receive the notifications for the latest videos by hitting the bell icon. The Exchange 106 is a super tall skyscraper being developed by Mulia Group in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The 95-floor building is topped with a 65-meter, 12-story high illuminated crown making it 445.5 meters. Exchange is taken from the name of the place where the tower is being constructed, Tun Razak Exchange. As its name suggests, the area is being primed as Malaysia's financial and banking district. The words Tun Razak are donned from the name of the former Prime Minister of Malaysia Datuk Seri Najib Tun Razak's father, Tun Abdul Razak. The Exchange 106 will form the centerpiece of this new district, and 106 refers to the floor count of the tower. The tower was earlier known as TRX Signature Tower. Other names of the building include Minara Platinum, Platinum Tower, and Signature Tower. Now, it has been tilted Exchange 106. The construction of the site was initially proposed to be 380 meters. In 2015, the height was switched to 430 meters, with a name change in competition. In 2016, the building's final design was chosen, with a planned height of 430 meters, and the planned size got increased to 492 meters in 2017. However, this height includes the elevation of the building's site. If 492.3 meters is the building's real height, as was widely believed before, the Exchange 106 will be the tallest building in Malaysia and Southeast Asia. The tower will keep this crown for a few years. 644 meter Merdeka PNB 118 surpasses it. However, as per some reports, it has been stated that Exchange 106 is 445.5 meters tall for now. However, structural height doesn't count the elevation of building sites. So, the structure is the second tallest building in Malaysia after the Petronas Towers, which are mounted on a site with similar elevation as the Exchange 106. The Twin Towers are more significant than the Exchange 106 by both steep rise and peak. But they are lower if the height is scaled up till the roof since Exchange 106 has no spire or antenna atop on the building. The building will be coated with a 48-meter high crown. It will be the tallest in Malaysia by roof length and hold this title for a few years until being overtaken by Merdeka PNB 118. The roof height of which will be somewhere around 500 meters and contains a long spire on the top which will make it the tallest building in Southeast Asia. Globally, it is believed that Exchange 106 will be one of the top 25 tallest buildings in the world. Exchange 106 is an office building with the base five floors reversed for retail space. There are about 300,000 square feet of retail space. The office level will be beginning from the sixth floor of the tower. Mulia Property Development states it's building as the most luxurious office skyscraper globally. Its office space's rental price is 17 Malaysian ringgits, approximately 4.3 US dollars per square feet a month, or 50 US dollars per square feet a year. Exchange 106 is regarded as the costliest in Malaysia. Globally, this new structure's rental price is not as high as some skyscrapers in Western countries. For comparison, the rental price of the Shard in London is 121 US dollars per square feet a year. One World Trade Center is $75 per square feet a year. The Exchange 106 is being developed by Mulia Group and was designed by Mulia's in-house team of designers instead of being like some other developers that asked some architectural firms like SOM or KPF. However, they did ask some global architectural firms to design the tower before the final design was chosen. Finally, they got what they were looking for, and the final design was chosen in 2016. Exchange 106 will be highlighting huge ceilings finished in English burlwood, and the floors and walls in the lobbies and common areas 
are made with marble of the highest quality. The tower will have 92 column-free office floors designed for flexible layouts, each averaging 34,000 square feet for column-free floor areas. This floor plate is the largest in Malaysia. Exchange 106 has 106 floors above the ground. The gross floor area of the tower is 53,835 square meters. The lettable floor area is 2,650,000 square feet. The ceiling in the entrance lobby is 15 meters high, while the building will also have a sky lobby on the 57th floor. The views from there would be stunning. Apart from 106 floors above ground, there are 6 floors underground, providing a parking lot capable of 2,116 cars. Thank God, because being able to grab a parking spot nowadays is a big challenge. The tower will be covered with an LED illuminated glass crown at its peak. The dome itself is 48 meters and contains 12 stories. This structure, however, has been part of a massive controversy. The super tall project on the Exchange 106 was first proposed by One Malaysia Development Berhad, a Malaysia finance ministry company in 2012, when the company was controlling the TRX district. However, One MDB faced critical debt problems not long after that. Hence, it was incapable of developing the project. The Exchange 106 is being developed by Mulia Property Development, SDNBHD, a subsidiary of Indonesia's Mulia Group. In May 2015, Mulia Group spent 665 Malaysian ringgits, which is equal to $170 million, to purchase the 3.42-acre site at which the Exchange 106 is situated. The chief contractor for the Exchange 106 is China State Construction Engineer Corporation. The organization has built lots of super tall or mega tall skyscrapers in China before. It is also going to develop many other super tall buildings out of China in recent years. None of them is as tall as the Exchange 106. Upon the completion, the Exchange 106 will become the tallest building built by a Chinese company outside China. The tower's construction work began in May 2016 with a matte foundation concrete pour. The pour took place continuously over a weekend, it is recognized as the second largest continuous concrete pour in the world. The concrete pour involved 8.5 million cement, 16 million kilograms of sand, and 19 million aggregate. That's a lot of money and material. With the advanced building technology of China State Construction Engineering, the construction speed of Exchange 106 has been surprisingly fast. On average, it takes the company only three days to complete one floor. Sometimes it takes only two days to complete. Usually, the contractors only form the structure itself, and the internal decoration will be handed over to another team. However, the Chinese contractor is doing it with a unique method. They are completing the building's exterior and interior Currently, This also significantly reduces the project's duration. Exchange 106 achieves its Certificate of Completion and Compliance in September 2019. The construction of TRX's shopping mall, commonly called the Exchange, which is located at the foot of Exchange 106, is anticipated to be concluded by the third quarter of 2021. This is all about the Exchange 106 tower, breaking and setting several records in Southeast Asia. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, let let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet to watch more thrilling and luxury filled videos like this on mega projects and skyscrapers. And stay tuned for more.